Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials and this is the last video that I had planned for this playlist. So this is a playlist that will be ongoing forever. Uh, every time I see something interesting that I would like to share with you guys, I will uh, come back and record a new video. But with this video, everything that I had planned for now, it's uh, over. And to finish, we are going to talk about the Blockhound. So I think one of the most difficult things when we start working with reactive programming is like uh, know if what we are doing is right because it's a new paradigm you have to change from imperative to declarative programming you are working with uh, bootstrapping and uh, everything that you are doing sometimes works but you have no idea if what you're doing is right and blockhound at least gives us a way to make sure that we are not doing something wrong that is blocking threads so the whole idea of reactive programming is that you are not blocking anything and this uh, library it will make sure that we are not doing that so you can check the the github for blockhound and uh, what we're going to do is just copy this dependency and i will add to the pom file so the latest one is uh, 103 at the moment I'm recording this video. So just copy this one. 103 release. And you can add here. And just import the dependencies. So the first thing they have here on tips and tricks is that you should check if it's been properly, uh, it was properly imported and you have everything working. So for that, let's start with uh, in the order mono test. And at the beginning of this mono test, we are going to add a before all and then public uh, void setup. I think setups like this. And to use blockhound is just block. blockhound dot install let's see why it's not showing up this one should be static so it's not this one yeah it should be something like this Let's import the dependencies again. Yeah. So we add this and then we add this piece of test. Okay, we have to do some modifications here. Let's import everything. And this one should be assertions and this one we can add deception and here one assertions assert true that this is an instance of block operation I heard okay so what the block hound will do is make sure that you don't have any threads uh, being blocked so this test will make sure of that if we remove this and we execute this test You can see that should fail by adding block hound. I executed all the tests in this mono class, but you can see that it works. It means that if you have something that is blocking the thread, the block uh, hound will give like a, a error. And if we execute the entire class, you will see that at least for mono, nothing is uh, being blocked. We will copy this one and then we will go to flux test at the beginning and then we will execute all the methods here so these ones is because we have this uh, thread dot slip we can remove them well i will leave them for now so we can see that the node threads are being blocked. And now we are going to add 
to the operators class. So just copy this before all. And we did so many things here. I'm pretty sure that something will fail. So let's see. Okay. Several methods start failing. And you can see the error. So the error, it's because something is blocking. So we have a blocking call. And you can see here the output stream. So it's not even our thought. It's uh, some third part library. In this case, the library that is blocking, and that, that's pretty normal because we are talking about the logging, is the SLF4J. So in this case, for example, the merge operator, if you want to fix this issue, we just have to remove the log. I think it's something related. I'm not entirely sure with the test because I think if we remove this and we just have the subscribe, this test will execute successfully. But on the tests, they are blocking. So I will need to dig a bit uh, deeper into this to see what's happening. But then if we remove this, Now we don't have a blocking call and the test is, uh, is executed successfully. So how do we fix that? How do we allow something to to be blocked by the black, the the library blockhound? Here at the install, we can call this builder. That's a blockhound integration, and we can just call builder dot allow uh, blocking calls inside. And in our case, the blocking call was happening inside the SLR4J library. So we can just get this library here. Let me add these two arguments. Then we have this, could be this one as well. I just want to get the, the package. So the package that is blocking is the, you can see here, is the right byte. We can copy the this one. So the right, let's go and add this to the class name and the method right. Now let's execute everything. So you can see that the tests are kind of slow because of the several thread dot slip that we we have around the code but in general if you have something blocking then you would get the the error so this can save you several hours debugging applications because uh, as you know it's working in your machine and when you deploy to production you would get uh, some errors that's really difficult to, to figure out so just add the block hound and then make sure that you are not blocking any call so this is everything that I had to tell you for, for now. If I find something interesting, I will definitely record something. So I hope you enjoyed this playlist. See you in the next video. Bye.